in a, a novel named Marianella, a, a young girl in Spain with a great capacity for love and friendship has a boyfriend, Pablo, who is blind. Marianella cares for Pablo. She reads to him, cooks for him. She takes him for walks. Pablo's family one day takes him to the city where he is operated on and he's cured of his blindness. And back in his village, uh, Pablo sees Marianella for the first time in his life. This woman who loves him more than anyone else ever could or ever would. But now that Pablo can see, he discovers that there are other young women prettier than Marianella in the village. So Pablo ends up marrying someone else. And of course the irony is that when Pablo was blind, he could see. But now when he could see with his eyes, he could only see appearances, only what was on the surface. The appearances which often deceive us. So in today's gospel, Bartimaeus is the blind man sitting by the roadside begging. And they say Bartimaeus represents every man. Bartimaeus is a beggar and St. Augustine says that we are all beggars before the throne of divine providence. Okay. And so we're, we're blind from birth, stumbling through the darkness. And the location that this takes place in is is Jericho. Jericho is actually the, the city of sin. It's the city of opposition to God. Uh, this is the city Israel had to conquer before it could enter into the promised land. Uh, so Jesus is traveling from Jericho to Jerusalem, from the city of sin to the city of grace. He comes to the city of sin, which is earth, to bring us to the city of grace, which is heaven, the new Jerusalem. And so each of us is invited to join him on this journey from Jericho to Jerusalem. Okay? And so in the person of Bartimaeus, we can identify with him. Bartimaeus' great virtue is humility. In humility, he cries out for mercy Jesus, son of David, have mercy on, my, on me. And the crowd is from the city of sin. They're all from that city opposed to God. And they tell him, be quiet. You're embarrassing yourself and us as well. Okay? Just blend in with the crowd. But humility only cries out the louder. Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. Bartimaeus recognizes Jesus as the, the Messiah and, and pleads for mercy. And they say the test of authentic prayer is conversion, growth, transformation. Like one spiritual writer, Michael Casey, says genuine contact with God affects a real displacement of self as the center of our existence. Prayer displaces the self as the center of our, our existence. Jesus calls to Bartimaeus, and actually the church calls out to us. Like in baptism, they say God calls us. The church is those who have been called out of the world by God, set apart from the world by God. And Bartimaeus responds. It says he, he threw aside his cloak, and, and that is the image of baptism putting aside the old self in order to be clothed with Christ. At the profession of a novice in the Benedictine order, a funeral pall is placed over the young religious and the songs of the funeral mass are sung. And the symbolism is that death is a prerequisite to life. Every new life requires a death to take place. Death is the death to sin is the prerequisite to the life of grace. And our Lord then asks Bartimaeus, what do you want me to do for you? Okay. It's God puts himself at the service of the humble. And Bartimaeus says, I want to see, Master. Uh, 
and it's a request for physical healing, but even more importantly, for spiritual vision. Okay? To, to see the one thing that matters, um, the, the path of salvation, to be able to stay on that path rather than stumbling in the darkness of sin. And Bartimaeus leaves with the, in, with the momentum of grace, okay? following Christ up to Jerusalem, and ultimately the new Jerusalem. Uh, and, and so like we say, that, that's our pilgrimage. And we pray that we may have that humility to recognize our spiritual poverty and to cry out and to persevere in that, in that following Christ to that new Jerusalem passing through the city of sin, the, the city opposed to God, but at the same time crying out, Jesus, Son of the living God, have mercy on me.